Hey folks, Bob Light here, Bitwig Studio. You're trying to make fat, juicy, ambient, atmospheric pads for whatever, intelligent jungle, ambient music. You may do something like this in your DAW. So on one track, you have your instrument, and then below that, you layer up some FX samples. So together, you get a, 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 a like cohesive thing. I told you there was a better way to do this. You can build up some epic juicy pads using an instrument layer in Bitwig. So check this out. I can come in, add a new track, and use a Bitwig instrument layer. And an instrument layer is just a container for multiple instruments or VSTs. So what that means is I could come in here and I could add a chord wave station for example, and select a patch. And then I can add another instrument in here. So I could add a sampler and I can even add another sampler and I can just keep stacking up instruments. So what I could do on that first sampler is drag my FX sample in there. And then on the other one, drag this other one in there. So now I have recreated what I had above on multiple layers fucking screen time alerts, the craziness. So I've recreated what I had on three layers in one layer and why this is better is because it's more dynamic. So each note head, um, it's gonna include all those effects and good stuff. So let's just test this out. Forgot our multi-note. So if I were to add a multi-note to the beginning of this, it would trigger, trigger each sample multiple times. So we have to add the multi-note just into the VST layer. So I can come into here, add a multi-note, load up a nice minor nine. And our sample isn't triggering. All right, let's go in. Our envelopes are messed up here. All right, let's make sure. All right, there we go, let's try again. All right, we need our effects though. So I'm gonna come into this first sample layer, just add that delay two. I'm gonna come into this next one and add a delay two as well. And I'm also gonna pan each one. So I'm gonna go to the first sample, pan it left a little, go to the next one, pan that right. And then I may even want this to loop, both of them actually. Uh, so if I hold a really long node, uh, these, these textures will keep coming in and out. So I can enable loop on both, and I think I just wanna loop the whole damn thing. I'm gonna enable it on this one as well. We're gonna loop that whole thing. Let's try again. Oh, this is juicy stuff, boys and girls. What I can also do with the instrument layer is come into the effects chain and add a reverb to it. So maybe I want like a nice Valhalla shimmer. And then I'm gonna throw a MIDI verb to bloom preset on there. Then let's try this. That is pretty damn cool. Then you can take it further, right? You can come in, mangle these samples. Maybe I want to reverse this one. All right, maybe I want to modulate the start time uh, of the playhead. All right, all sorts of different things you can do in here, but you know, coolest thing about this is instead of having multiple layers, you can stack up really a, a custom instrument within the instrument layer. Now, something like the Wave Station, I mean, you could basically do this in here alone because you have eight different layers uh, within a performance or an M1. 
Uh, but still, maybe you have some textures and some atmospheric texture packs. So I got a bunch of those that I like to use all the time. And just stacking them with the instrument is uh, a great way to get some big juicy pads. So yeah, peace out. <laughs>